Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're actually in the new office. So um, I've had to move uh, this part of my uh, book collection from the bedroom into the office now for various reasons. It's uh, a bit of changing rooms going on at, at the house at the moment, but it's actually quite nice because it gives me this uh, quite funky uh, backdrop and it's all been uh, cleaned. I've gone through everything and I've got quite a nice little area and I'm thinking that this might be quite good to do sort of live streaming and things like that. So what I thought I'd do, I'd show you the process of moving nigh on a couple of thousand books in effect, um, including some of the paperbacks and, and all these sort of first edition hardbacks and stuff. It, it took two days to do it, including moving all four bookcases. And I thought, what better opportunity than this to, um, to do like a proper shelf tour, at least of this part of my collection. I'm afraid this is not going to be looking at the uh, six, seven thousand odd paperbacks that I've got. Um, right now this is just going to be more the first editions like annuals that sort of stuff and uh we'll have a look at it we'll show you the shelves being emptied move through to this office here and then at the end i'm going to do a really nice detailed uh, shelf tour for you and uh, i think you'll find it really enjoyable so sit back relax and let's get to it
All right then, so this is the proper shelf tour and it's been a while coming this one. So we'll start off in the corner here. So this is where I've got my signed uh, pictures of the first three Doctor Who. So the Trout and one on the left there. I met him first at um, Longleat in 1983. I never got to meet William Hartnell. And I also met uh, John Pertwee for the first time at Longleat in 1983. I did meet him several times after that during the 80s. Um, underneath this empty spot here, that's where we're going to get Doctors 4 to 9. Um, and then we'll do some of the later ones. So the way I've got it worked out, right at the top there, along the top there is sort of military history art backs like so. Great series there, the Austerity Britain series. A few nice uh, non-fiction war books. Then we've got the Robert Opie books, which you've seen in some big Tashin art books. A couple of Lego books. This is my uh, Winston Churchill. I've got uh, a bit more of that up in the uh, up in the loft actually, because they're such big books. And also the first of the seven pillars of wisdom. Then these two shelves here are just uh, sort of paperbacks uh, so they're a bit packed in but it's paperbacks that I'm sort of reading on and off and then that moves into my annuals and sort of large format books so annuals and guide books as Alien, it, the Avengers, all the Blue Peter books there, uh, the James Bond books, a couple of Faulty Towers, Girl from Uncle, uh, The Godfather, big fan of Tony Hancock as well and then we got the slightly larger Blue Peter books a nice book on Batman animated Alfred Hitchcock big Star Trek book my man from uncles Mission Impossibles they're brilliant and some more Star Trek annuals then up here we've got my uh, sort of Colditz library and escaping books in general then we've got down here, this is the Doctor Who, first of two Doctor Who shelves. So at the back is the New Adventures. These are sort of target related books. Um, the very earliest Doctor Who books there and some other sort of target related books. More target stuff there. Some of it yet to be seen in videos. And there we go, there's the little uh, Sugar Smacks badges and their spin-offs. Pretty cool. Just some like small Small format books there, Mr. Ben and uh, little photo books, pretty cool. Now we do these bottom two shelves there, so it's sort of larger graphic novels and uh, the start of my hard case crime collection. And at the very bottom shelf there is some more British annuals. They're these at the end of the Star Trek, into Star Wars, then into the Sweeney books on Top of the Pops, Will of the Wisp, V. And if we go over there, we've got, uh, these are some slightly larger sort of art books. Really nice book on Alan, Alan Aldridge, a couple on Brian Bolland. Great series of books on film posters, Hanna-Barbera, more Hitchcock. The two ILM books, which are fantastic. Rolling Stones there. Then more very large format books real heavy books most of those that's why they're down the bottom and then if we go up to this side we then start the more modern first edition so this isn't my vintage first editions this is just my uh, modern stuff so the top shelf there is like Boris Akunin some Ian M. Banks and then my run of Andrea Camilleri books I absolutely love that author got a few more of those still to get and there's the Pillar of the Earth trilogy by Ken Follett, Stephen Fry's fiction novels. A lot of those are signed, the Red Dwarfs, the run of Red Mars trilogy. Then we're into uh, Julian Stockwin's Kid series, The Proofs. Then the first editions, he's a local author to us. A couple of books on the Sweeney. And down below here, we've got my run of British Giles Annuals the 1940s and then down below again we've got price guides books on paperbacks books on collecting first editions then the oblong how to draw star wars empire jedi 
and some cartoon books and graphic novels and a few American comics. So that's those three shelves. And looking at them from a distance, you see that is a small space, extremely well filled, but it should make an interesting backdrop for when I introduce my videos and also uh, when I do some more live streaming. And then I've got one more bookcase, which has been done here. So let's get that one. This bookcase right at the top here, quite high up. This is autobiographies and biographies along the top. Once again, a lot of those are signed. Then the one shelf down from that is Tashin books, Tashin art books, local art books, books on uh, the Festival of Britain, which I'm a big fan of, and also London Underground and its art and design. Then we've got some more Tashin books, books on their uh, um, actual film stars, uh, artwork covers, that sort of thing, uh, end of the world, and non-fiction film and TV. This carries on down here. A big fan of old time radio, a big thick encyclopedia. Um, then we've got the lovely Topps uh, bubblegum books. Fantastic, I've done a video on those. Um, some more large format books. Then down here, we've got the first of two shelves of just the classic Star Trek. I've got Next Gen and DS9 and Voyager packed away, but this is my shelf of original Star Trek. And down below, more original Star Trek books. Absolutely love those. And then on the very bottom shelf, a bit dark, but that's all the 2000 AD uh, graphic novels, Judge Dredd related, and at the very end, the uh, Judge Dredd annuals. Also a cheeky copy of uh, from hell has slipped in there. And that is the shelf tour. So I hope you have enjoyed a little look at this, at least at this part of my, uh, my collection. If you have enjoyed looking through the collection today, do please give this video a thumbs up. Do please consider subscribing for regular retro book toy content. There's loads on the channel, loads more still to come. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.